Hey everybody, it's Kim Hawk and I'm known as YouTube's Fairy Godmother of Real Estate and uh, today is July 29th. How is everybody out there? If you do me a favor and uh, put in the comments where you're from, maybe uh, even let us know if there's something you're interested in my dream team sharing with you. But um, as we start to get ready for this weekly show, we offer this on our near Disney YouTube channel, near Disney YouTube channel. And one of the things that we have been doing is we had talked about a Christmas in July promotion, Christmas in July. So as we've been building our base of folks, you've been so wonderful about following everything that's going on, all the content that my wonderful YouTube crew and dream team are providing. Because what we're doing is a 25 mile radius around Cinderella's castle. And we're showing you what some of the better real estate options are, some lifestyle options. But what's the big news today? The big news today. Okay, guys, if you haven't done this yet, you still have time. So today is July 29th, Friday, right? And the Mega Million Lottery draw tonight is I wanted to show you. I don't know if you can see this. Guys, look, it's up to one. $1.28 billion, $1.28 billion. So if you haven't had the opportunity, you know, go out and buy your ticket. I would love to hear if you were to win that amount of money, what would you like to do with it? What would you do if you won $1.28 billion? And obviously, I'm going to hopefully assume you're going to take care of your family and friends. And and hopefully, you'll be calling my dream team uh, so that we can help you find that dream house for you. Wouldn't it be fun? I would love that opportunity to walk alongside somebody that says, I can buy anything that I want for my family and to be able to find the perfect house for you in Central Florida. But what are those other things? Are there Are there groups that you want to help? What's going on out there? I'd love to hear what you guys are most interested in. Okay, so since it's a winner's day, before we start our talk about Dr. Phillips, we're going to be concentrating on Dr. Phillips. One of the things that we talked about was Christmas in July. And what we're going to do today, is I don't know if you can see this, it's such a cute, these things are so popular, uh, but they're very difficult to get, but they're called lounge fly backpacks. And this one really goes in with our group because you can see Cinderella in the castle and it says, and they lived happily ever after. So what we're going to do today is for those of you that are making comments on our YouTube station, once again, near Disney, the people that are going to be putting their comments uh, today, we're going to put their names in a drawing and we'll pick a winner. So that'll be the beginning of our Christmas and July giveaways. We're going to be doing this every week. So every week for the next three weeks, next three weeks. So please, once again, go to near Disney. And then if you're watching on another page, we appreciate that as well. But please try to go to near Disney and register so that you hopefully can be in this drawing. And hopefully, too, I will be hearing good news about somebody, one of our friends, one of our viewers, one of our loved ones, has won a billion dollars tonight. Come on. All right. I'm putting positive energy out there for everybody. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. We can't wait to tell you more about Dr. Phillips. Have you ever been hungry to live in a great location? Well, welcome to Dr. Phillips, Florida area. Dr. Philip Phillips came to Central Florida in 1894 and he bought an orange grove. After he got out of the citrus business, Dr. Phillips wanted to build a community where people could work, live, and play. He actually chose the perfect spot within Central Florida. We are centrally located between the theme parks of Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, and SeaWorld, and have numerous different restaurants and shops within a close proximity. The 
very first commercial space is the Dr. Phillips Marketplace, which is located very close to us here. So the Dr. Phillips Florida area is very near and dear to my family's heart. It is super close to Walt Disney World. It's actually hugging right up beside Universal Studios. It's close to SeaWorld. My best friend, Luann Brooks, is the executive director for International Drive, which is circling this area as well. But my husband and I met in the Dr. Phillips Florida area. And my bonus son, Chris, went to summer camp when he was younger right across from the Dr. Phillips YMCA. And thirdly, our daughter, Ashley Elizabeth, she bought her first house and still resides in the Dr. Phillips Florida area. So I can definitely tell you that we can give a testimony to how cool it is to live in Dr. Phillips Florida. Rocco's Tacos, which is one of my mom's favorite places. You know, I went to school in South Florida and Palm Beach area, and we had a Rocco's Tacos down there. And I always said that was how I got her down to come see me at schools to go to Rocco's Tacos. And now there's one right here on Restaurant Row. So <laughs> we love Restaurant Row. There's so many options and great places to go. And Yes, absolutely. And, and baby, I really did come down there to see you, but it was nice that Rocco's Tacos was down there. <laughs> It's alive here, it's amazing. This restaurant's got a lot of energy and it's fun. We're gonna show you how they make guacamole table side and it's spectacular. Love, love Rocco's Tacos. But let's talk about the grocery stores. What's up with the grocery stores around here? There's three Publixes that I can think of off of Sam Lake alone. And there's a Sprouts. It's more wellness based and that's really unique and cool. and. And we have a fresh market, just a little bit pricier, but all organic. We have my favorite, Trader Joe's. And every week they come out with new products. You know, the chicken soup dumplings, they're sold out every time I go in there. I have to get there at 9 a.m. or whatever time they open just to snag a pack. We also do have a, a Whole Foods around here. So those that are used to the typical organic food, you know, Whole Foods is also a great option. Barnes and Noble. There's, I think it's one of the last Barnes and Nobles around. And so if you wanted to go to a bookstore, you've got that going on. But this area is also kind of walkable. You can be on a bicycle and ride your bike down here, get to the Barnes and Noble, maybe come, oh, I come here to get a spray tan. There's a place called South Beach Tans. And so for those of you that are coming down here on vacation and it's raining and you think, I want to go home with a tan, you got to come to the Dr. Phillips area and go to the South Beach tanning place. Make sure that you subscribe and like so that we can continue to give you up-to-date information on all things that are going around the 25-mile radius of Cinderella's Castle because this is truly a magical place to live. So Central Florida offers some of the finest golf courses in the world. We're here at the Bay Hill Club and Lodge, where you'll find some of the best golf that you can find. This is the location of the PGA Tournament, the Bay Hill Invitational. This is what Arnold Palmer lived for. He owned this club, and this was a place where all of the PGA professionals came, and they knew that Arnold would be here, and they knew that they could rub elbows with one of the greatest masters of golf. This was one of the first luxury communities in Central Florida. This golf course started in 1961, and this community, as you drive through it, you'll find a number of homes that are reminiscent of that time period. Now, you can either buy a home on the golf course or on the Butler Chain of Lakes, and either enjoy the historic home, or as some other people have done, they've actually replaced the existing home with a brand new home on the golf course or on the lake.
So if you are looking for a place where you can live, work, play, be able to have parks, to have places to eat, places to shop, Dr. Phillips is a great choice. Part of the Dr. Phillips area is a new section called O-Town West. There's somebody that's putting about a billion dollars in that area. And it's places like uh, White Castle, Hamburger. We saw when they open, police officers having to guide traffic in to drive-throughs in O-Town West, right? That's right, and I was there. <laughs> I was in that line for White Castle. Their, their chocolate dip cheesecake, I cannot talk about enough. It is so good, and all their, their little sandwiches. They're, it's a great place. One of the things that Dr. Phillips area is known with the census is that most of the majority of people that live in this area are members of the arts. So that makes sense, right? So you would see a Joey Fatone come out of this area, and you would see it maybe because Dr. Phillips himself decided to put money towards the arts, which is so cool. So people that are working for Theme Parks Universal, uh, dancers, people that are in the theater, it's happening here. So there's, there's just a lot to do. Dr. Phillips probably never envisioned that Universal Studios Florida would build a major theme park on part of his original land. We are standing right in the center of Universal Studios Islands of Adventure and as you may know, Universal Studios Florida, City Walk, they have some water parks and everything so it's really its own megatropolis in itself and it's part of what we refer to the Dr. Phillips area. My daughter, Ashley Elizabeth Hawk, she works here and we're just so very proud of her, but it makes it interesting because my husband works for Walt Disney World. So at dinners, they can't talk about what they're doing, but I get to enjoy the fruits of their labor. And absolutely gorgeous day. We are going to show you a little bit about Universal Studios and we're gonna show you some film right now. So as we are driving past some of the gated communities, properties are gonna start around 400,000 and if you're on the lakes, you're gonna be talking about a couple of million dollars. Remember, Phillips Landing, that's the area where Dr. Phillips would have planes. They would land and they would take off from that area. But we're gonna be able to help you with everything and you're gonna really enjoy this area because it's got a lot of value. If you have any needs for real estate assistance, my team would be honored to help you. We're just going to ask you as well to subscribe and like because we're putting these videos out every week and we're hoping that this content is helpful to some of you. If nothing else, we hope you get to know us a little bit better and we look forward to meeting you as well. So until the next time, make sure you check out Near Disney. And thank you, Ashley, for joining me. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Hey team, what did you think about the video on Dr. Philip Phillips? Totally awesome. Yeah, it was terrific. You know, I just love that he was so innovative. Uh, you know, I think we've learned since that not only was he doing some cool things in regard to flash freezing oranges, uh, but he was touting that, you know, drinking orange juice was, was very healthy for you because he really was a medical doctor. He got his... Uh, his degree from, I think, Columbia University. And because of this man, we all know that if we drink orange juice, it's going to make us healthier. Yeah. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. But isn't it cool? His name was Philip Phillips, but Philip was one L and Phillips was two L. So I wanted to meet his mom and his dad as two. Who did? I did I know, that's a joke. <laughs> I know, right? But what I love too is that, you know, we, we've read that his father, uh, I believe was was French and his mom was from Memphis. And so that's so cool because when we've been showcasing these different neighborhoods and we have found that different areas surrounding the 25 mile radius of Cinderella's castle, somebody has been really from Philadelphia, whatever. So now we can kind of say Dr. Phillips has a connection 
with Memphis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So we have so much to talk about today, but before I go any further, I want to make sure everybody knows this is my dream team and they are out on the streets and they are finding the best opportunities for those of you that are looking to move within that 25 mile radius around Cinderella's castle. So let me introduce you. Let's, let's, let's start with the Prince today, our Prince of real estate. <laughs> Happy to be on as always. <laughs> we have Cinderella over here, Virginia. Hey everyone. And last but not least, we've got Chelsea over here. She's the fairy goddaughter of real estate. Hi guys. And I'm known as YouTube's fairy godmother of real estate. And I'm I'm so honored. I um I was able to go on the Disney Magic for a couple of days. Many of you may know my husband's an executive with Disney, and they we got a call and they had uh, asked if we would like to join them for three days. And the name of the boat is called the wish, the wish. So we're going to be having a video come out soon. One of our neighbors actually gave me a magic wand from Disney because they knew we were going on the cruise. And so I'm kind of excited about it. And we'll, we'll show you how cool it is to go on cruises from this area. Cause we're not that far away. And obviously mm -hmm. Disney does it very well. Yeah. Yeah. But before we get into some of this, we have been talking about the heat. Here we are on July 29th, and sometimes people will come to us for specialized knowledge other than just real estate. Maybe it's lifestyle, but it may be some things that are maybe a little bit more important, like what do you do with the heat? Because the four of us are used to being in um, a hot environment. We are blessed that we have air conditioning mm -hmm. and we're reading these stories about, you know, these lovely people that are in the UK and Spain and Portugal and maybe only have 1% of them have air conditioning. Actually, Cinderella was sharing that when she was in France. You want to tell that story? Yeah. So I lived in France for three years and a lot of the, the houses, I mean, we're in Bordeaux, which is kind of an older city and so these homes were built one, 200 years ago and they're made out of stone and none of them have really any central air. So you kind of have to get creative and carry a fan around with you almost to beat the heat. Cause these heat waves are very real and they happen almost every summer over there. So yeah. just, you were talking about, it was like a major piece of equipment, right? With ice on it and you're having to move. Yeah. It. it was a big fan that was on, it was about maybe three feet tall and it was on casters. So I would unplug it. You could put ice in the bottom. So it would kind of mist on you and I would unplug it and wheel it into another room where I was going to be just so, like the cool air could follow me around. Yeah. yeah. So. so, yeah. So, and we were reading too about some of our friends that, uh, you know, in Texas, uh, mm -hmm. in the United States, you know, Dallas is getting hit big time mm -hmm. and I know they're yeah. used to hot, but they are really getting hit with big, big, big time uh, heat and so we were talking about some brainstorming things of what we might recommend to folks. And we've mentioned this before, you guys, but if you, if you have a friend or if you're in those environments, if you go to Amazon, go to Amazon. We've talked about it before. If you need, we'll put a link below. But otherwise, this is what it looks like. This is an example. There are these neck fans out now. And they're bladeless. They look like they're um, a headset that you put around your neck and they come in different colors. I think they're less than $40, but this one is J I S U L I F E. I have used lots of neck fans in my life and I've always thought, Oh, this isn't not worth it. This one works. It's 360 degrees. You charge it up. Um, it'll last like eight hours. It will drop the temperature around you about 20 degrees and it will help you survive that super hot heat, right? So this was one of the things we talked about. We also talked about, you know, water. You got to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Uh, yeah. Liquid IV. liquid IV will be your best friend. If you, you can get that on Amazon too. Um, it's little packets of electrolytes. Yes. Um, Liquid IV is one of the better brands out there. So Yes, yes. And Chelsea knows because it's what she did in a, in a former past life. Do you like this thing, Chelsea? Because this is something that I get. Um, I do. It doesn't have as much electrolytes in it as the liquid IV does, um, especially if you're in a place that it's you're outside all day long. Um, that's good for small doses of electrolytes. 
Um, mm-hmm. But definitely the liquid IV is, is a better option if you are outside for any amount of time. Um, have yeah. that on hand and you just, you dump it in a big cup of water um, and drink it. And it's just, it replenishes what your body loses through sweat and, and whatnot. So it's, it's just an awesome tool to have if you are outside quite a bit or struggling with the heat. Yeah, there you go. See, my dream team, we are all concerned about everybody. So we want to make sure everybody stays safe, stay, stay safe. Um, but now let's talk about Dr. Phillips. And uh, who wants to start? You guys tell me who wants to start and you tell them whatever you want. Yeah, I'll start. Um, so, you know, we spend a lot of time looking at all the different neighborhoods. And the one thing that I think we've all agreed upon is... Um, <clears throat> The great thing about Dr. Phillips is uh, families that move there tend to have a lot of longevity uh, because there is so much to offer, especially coming from a different part of the country. I mean, you're kind of just dropped down into this little pocket of Orlando called Dr. Phillips that has really close proximity to all the parks, um, great schools, awesome restaurants and golfing. I mean, you just, there's just so much to offer and the location can't be beat and a lot of activities for the kids. The YMCA over there is terrific. I know that we were talking earlier about how SeaWorld has an amazing camp for children during the summer. Two options, like an all day camp or one where you can go half day and the parents can participate. Just so many options for, for families that are coming to the area. And like I said, they tend to stay for years until their children, you know, go through the school system. And and so it just ends up being a really nice place for families to relocate. Yes, absolutely. Because, you know, we, Dr. Phillips High School is the home to, uh, you know, Wayne Brady went there. Um, and then we've talked about Johnny Damon mm-hmm. uh, went there, Joey Fatone from NSYNC, which is interesting because Dr. Phillips was from Memphis and Elijah who else in NSYNC was from Memphis that came down here? It's a little quiz. I bet you know it, though. I asked you off the cut. Oh, God. A little Justin Timberlake, was, maybe. Timberlake, was, yeah. JT. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Our little more Backstreet Boys. Uh, that's, uh, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's kind of cool how they made. But that's just a sign, too, that those families anchored here. Mm-hmm. And they wanted their kids to be raised here. And they've done well. And so from a sporting, I think, Chelsea, you were starting to talk about some of the sporting stuff. It would make sense. Maybe a Johnny Damon would come from here because. Yeah. Um, there's just some really great coaches in the area. Dr. Phillips high school is, is known for um, producing some really top athletes, not just in baseball, football, um, diving. Uh, Mark Ruiz, who was an Olympic diver. He um, actually came out of Dr. Phillips high school as well. Um, Dr. Phillips high, high school has a dance magnet too. That's um pretty well known throughout the country. They're, they're one of the top dance companies um, that come out of that high school. Uh, it's just, it's the area. Uh, Little League is really big in Dr. Phillips. Um, there's tons of golf. We had mentioned that earlier. Uh, it's, kind of, it's just, a, it's a central spot and it, there's a lot of great coaches that come to the area and it's just, it's, it's a sports hub. It really is. Yeah. And you know, when you were saying dancing, then that makes me think, you know, Dr. Phillips, uh, when we drive around, we just kind of take it for granted or whatever. But, you know, Dr. Phillips High School, Dr. Phillips Hospital, but there's a Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center. And I know Elijah's all over that because there's concerts, major concerts that come to that area. Elijah, you want to point out any special ones coming up? Yeah, they, they have all kinds of things, including concerts, a lot of chances to catch uh, comedians and sometimes uh, musicals or performances as well. Maybe you just got to see uh, Chris Rock the last uh, couple nights that he was here. Uh, we have, and uh, But yes, going into August, uh, you can see that they are going to, uh, starting just August 1st and 2nd. So you got two nights, uh, two chances to see uh, Steely Dan, a big, big chance uh, to for our classic rock people to you know check out dad rock and some of the stuff you know uh, uh, grammy winners and all that you know good stuff and then uh later on uh even like into like next month you have a chance you know to see alicia keys coming on like uh, september 17th you know so i think uh, when i well, last i checked it said you know seats still available so you can you know try to grab them because I, I think those are going 
those are going fast that got re i think that got rescheduled because of uh the pandemic and so it's, she's happy to finally be making it making it happen and being here with us uh and yeah it's like you know we, we yeah love music you got a favorite alicia keys song or the last time that you got a chance to see her yeah, you can write it in the comments we, we love to know what our audience is into for music too mm -hmm. yes yes absolutely and you know the broadway shows that they're getting i I believe I've told the story before, but I worked with Tina Turner for a while and there's a, there's a Broadway show um, about Tina and it's coming uh, next, next year. Yeah. Right at the top of uh, January next year. Uh, and in between then you'll have a chance to kind of uh, preserve your chance to see a big string of Hamilton performances and six, the musical. And that, that's not one that, that I know too well, but I might have to check it out because it looks like it's going to be there for, for like a good string of like a, a seven to 10 showings. Uh, uh, so. I love that. And you know, when we say this Dr. Phillips Performing Arts Center, and I know Dee from our YouTube crew, he's so great. I'm sure he's showing you pictures now, but um, just within the last couple of months, they opened up what they consider to be one of the best sounding rooms ever. And actually Chelsea's mom invited Rod and I out to, to uh, see it and it was, unbelievable it was jennifer hudson uh with an orchestra and you could she could sing as softly as she wanted or as loud as she wanted and it really was magnificent it was magnificent <laughs> and speaking about your mama chelsea she's also very involved in the dr phillips area why don't you tell us a little bit about what she does and uh why it's important yeah um so we actually started out as a family in the Dr. Phillips area. That's where my parents bought um, their first house was that area. So it's a special place for me. But um, my mom is actually the executive director of the International Drive Improvement District. So Dr. Phillips is about five miles of area. And I, I truly feel it's almost like um, a true hub to the Central Florida area. Mm -hmm. And not even a couple minutes drive from the heart of, of Dr. Phillips is International Drive, which most people know as the tourist district for Central Florida. Um, but she is the executive director of the Improvement District and Transit Authority down there. And so I have spent much of my life in that area. And it is just a huge strip of some pretty amazing spots, whether it's restaurants, um, you have Tin Roof for live music, which is a great spot to go. Um, Old Red, which is Blake Shelton's restaurant. He pops in there every once in a while. As far as entertainment goes, you've got Top Golf, which is very similar to Drive Shack, like we talked about in Lake Nona. Um, Andretti's, which is gas golf or gas go karts, excuse me, um, which is an awesome spot to go to. Um, mm -hmm. Epic Universe. Disney or Universal, which I'm so excited about. I'm so excited about some Epic Universe coming in. And then you have the convention center. So there's always tons of groups coming in. I know with the pandemic, we slowed down a little bit, but there's tons of groups coming in. Um, some of them are actually open to the public. Um, so you just have to kind of check in and see what's there. So you end up with conventions like Comic-Con, which I love going to. I love seeing everybody get dressed up and getting to be a part of it all. Um, one of the private events that's coming in is ICAST, which is a huge fishing convention, um, all the way from recreational all the way up to professional. There's a whole bunch of groups that come in with ICAST and you get to do these big events. Um, then another really cool one is, um, Oh my goodness, IAPA, which is the huge amusement park convention where they bring in and debut new rides and things like that for Disney, Universal, all the other theme parks around the, the world, actually around the US. So IAPA is another really cool one that comes in. So just a big mix of stuff that happens down on iDrive. If you get a chance to check it out, um, please head down there. It's just a few minutes away from, from the heart of Dr. Phillips. So yeah. yeah, I love that. And I know Elijah uh, you would, um, we, matter of fact, just, we had dinner with some folks that we had sold a house to in, in Dr. Phillips months, gosh, maybe months, months, months ago, but they remodeled their house and it's a Vizcaya area. And yeah, what are your, love that area, right? So talk a little bit about, about that area. 
Yeah, it's a gated uh, community called like the Esplanade slash the Skya area. It's like you know, right, you know, you're right across the street basically from like a Trader Joe's, which you know, lots of the beautiful restaurants and fine dining and and uh, casual dining. You know, it's just everything on the Strip. But then you can take a little turn, get into this beautiful gated community where a lot of the uh, residences have like tile roofs and it's, they look very much like. Uh, Mediterranean or resort homes, very beautiful, kept up uh, single family living as well. That uh, some of it uh, fronts uh, the the lake, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's a it's just a really cool, uh, safe, uh, higher uh, high end uh, community that we were happy to uh, get get our people into uh, last mm -hmm. year at a at a good time in the market. Yeah. Lovely people, lovely people. And then Cinderella has a brother that, you know, cause we have to remember too, when I say Dr. Phillips, I also can consider that to be Bay Hill. Cause that's mm -hmm. all kind of encompassing. So Cinderella, what do you, what do you think about that area for housing? Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, in particular, my brother was interested in, in the Bay Hill area because he's an avid golfer. And so he kind of always had his eye on it. Um, he had lived in other areas, but you know, Bay, Bay Hill was kind of like his uh, end game, if you will, because um, he yeah. works in downtown Orlando and, and it's just a beautiful community. And like I said, the golf courses are just spectacular. Um, it, it's kind of like everywhere you go in there, the view is spectacular. It's something beautiful that you're looking at. It's just really well maintained. Yes. And then, of course, you you know, you feel like you're kind of not in the city, but then you drive out and you have everything at your fingertips. So. It's kind of the best of both worlds that way. I love that. Yes. Yeah. And it's also, you know, this Dr. Phillips I-4 intersection, because we talk about our lovely I-4, it's improving. Uh, there's actually some areas where you can take this uh, um, more of a quicker route. Um, and mm -hmm. that's around, that's not, that's around that area. So it helps to get to downtown Orlando faster. Yeah. yeah. So like, for, for example, we love our celebration and we love that, but it, there are still bottlenecks on I-4 for that, but not so much with Dr. Phillips. Dr. Right. Phillips to downtown Orlando is pretty easy right now. Would you guys agree? Yeah. yeah. Straight shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 And then I think Cinderella's got a house maybe that you wanted to tell us about that might be active now that you really like. Yeah. So I found this house that uh, the address is 10836 royal cypress way and it is in dr phillips it's a four bedroom three and a half bath built in uh 2019 it's just shy of 3,000 square feet just on a beautiful piece of property in a gated community um it when you walk in you you kind of go into this open foyer that leads to a beautiful great room that's open to the upstairs kind of balcony uh, custom lighting and and wall coverings, uh, just a, a, a beautiful beautiful finishes when you walk in the home. The, the kitchen has um, large island, 42 inch cabinetry, gas stove, uh, quartz countertops, all the things that you're you want with the primary bedroom on the first floor, and then three additional upstairs. And outside, it has a private pool. The community also has a pool that you can use, um, but it's nice to have your own as well. And then there's a, a large amount of green space on the property as well. So just kind of has everything that you are looking for when you want to have a gated community. I love that. And remind me, what was the price on that one? Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's um, for $1,150,000. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've been blessed. We just... Uh, actually, Cinderella and I just had a closing today where our magical lender that we work with um, is still carrying so much less of an interest rate right now. Mm. So for any of you that are looking out there, get a hold of my dream team, get a hold of my dream team, because um, I would seriously consider now just food for thought. Uh, if you can get a 7-1 arm that's amateurized over 30 years so that you can get that interest rate down uh, maybe in the mid fours, it's something to really consider because, you know, we're still hearing people get in the high fives and, you know, it changes every other day. But we have found consistently that we have a lender that is doing phenomenal and showing up, getting it done 
we're able to get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's really, it's magical. It's magical. It's magical. Yeah. This, this lender, I, I agree. She was, or they were just very responsive and, and, you know, it just worked well with us and yeah. got the job done. So I appreciated yeah. that. <laughs> and most of us, you know, we always think, uh, and there are some that'll say, Oh, well, I'm going to live in this house for the rest of my life, you know, but typically people have are selling their houses before seven years because a situation, you know, family grows, family, you know, we're right sizing, you know, that type of thing. So a seven one, as long as it's amateurized over 30 years, right? You just don't want, yeah. Um I I don't see how you can go wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't see how you can go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So what else should we talk about? I know um, I, the video has shown a lot about Dr. Phillips. I think next week what we're going to do is because we're starting to get some wonderful responses. We want everybody out there to tell us what you would like to see. And we're starting to get some responses of can we do a this versus that type of thing. So what we might start working on is because there are wonderful different flavors of the towns and the communities and we'll just honestly give you our opinions, not to say that they're right or wrong, but with the four of us saying, well, you know, if I was a golfer and if I had to pick between these two areas, I might pick this one because of that. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, if I'm a foodie, I might pick this area versus that. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to ask our YouTube crew to, because we've done over probably a dozen videos on different towns, is maybe condense them to five and then put that information out there so that our viewers can then ask us, you know, there's something called the Fessinger cognitive theory. It says if you have too much information out in front of you, you're not going to make a decision at all. Right. So they always say to keep when we show property, try not to show more than seven pieces of property a day. That doesn't always apply to everybody. We've had people like Helena. I swear she could look at 100 houses in a day and keep it all straight. Right. Yeah, she could. She could. But for me, you know, I, I see it. It's like after seven and we want to work with you in advance. You guys, we we do a lot of work with you and up front in regard to what do you really what what do you really want? What are you looking for? And then we start sending you emails with suggestions and stuff. So it's not like you get here and there's just seven properties only that we show you. No, we're more than willing to show you as much as possible, but it's really in your best interest for us to help you as much up front so that when you're with us, we can really maximize your time. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Sounds good. All right. Anything else? I don't think so. I think we covered a lot. Yeah. Okay. Well, everybody hydrate, hydrate, make sure you take care of your loved ones out there if they're not used to this heat and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Everybody, thank you so much for hanging in there. I know on a couple of the channels, there's a little bit of a delay that was actually on my part, so I apologize. But what you missed was we were just encouraging everybody, don't forget today is the Mega Millions drawing. That's what we were saying early on. And um, it is $1.28 billion as of today. And we were putting out positive vibes to everybody that's watching that uh, hopefully somebody that we know and love and is on this channel will be a winner because we really like the idea that uh, we'd like to see somebody be blessed in that way. Um, one of the things that we talked about as well is that we had done Christmas in July. We were saying that we were going to start at the end of July, start providing some gifts, some prizes for some of our followers. And we decided whoever posted first on the YouTube channel near Disney was going to win a prize today. And I'm super excited. That means it's going to be Georgia Procaccini. And so I'm going to ask Erica to let me know because she probably has a couple of these, but we have a choice for Georgia for either. Let me see. How do I do this? Um, we have got Two. One is Pinocchio. Oh, here we go. One is Pinocchio and one is Cinderella. So if you would let sweet Georgia know that she gets to pick either one and we're going to get those in the mail for her. So we can't thank you enough for watching and sharing and being a part of the Near Disney YouTube channel. 
What we also do is we will recap the town that we just covered because as you know, our format is kind of just covering what's going on in that 25 mile radius around Cinderella's castle. I have an incredible dream team as you met on the filming and they are, oh good, Erica is the princess one, of course. Okay, awesome. All right, Georgia, it's coming your way, our first winner. I'm so excited. So we'll do another one next week as well. We're going to be doing winners for the next three weeks because we've been collecting our viewers on the Near Disney YouTube channel. So please go there. I know a lot of you watch this show during the week because collectively there's about a thousand people that watch during the week. Not a lot of people get to see it right at Friday at 1.30, but we are going to ask for the winners to be on the live show on Fridays at 1.30 at the end, we will be doing a drawing. And uh, so it just seems perfect and appropriate that Georgia is our first winner. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's talk a little bit about Dr. Phillips because you know what? We've got pricing. We can tell you, you know, if it's a buyer's market, seller's market. And so we collect that data. So as of today, July 29th, there are 78 actives in the uh, zip code 32836. Now, 32836 is a wonderful zip code close to Disney, obviously, that also incorporates Disney Golden Oak, you know, so you're going to see some high price points over there. You're going to see areas that are on the lake. And so it's kind of exciting to see the kind of numbers that are coming out of there. But the 78 actives... The price ranges really start about three hundred and ten thousand. Sometimes you'll see an oddball condo hotel type of thing that shows up for less, but those aren't things that you buy for yourself full time. You can live in those one day shy of six months, and then you need to let them rent it for the rest of the time. Uh, it's typically cash only. Um, it's something you want to talk to us directly about. Um, it serves some people's purposes, but for all intent, per, intensive purposes, think 310,000 and above is kind of where you're starting at and Dr. Phillips. And guess what? The actives go all the way up to $25 million, $25 million. You know, before that used to make me take a breath, but um, this property is kind of on an island. It's right. It has access. To it's uh, Lake Butler Sound and you're going to win the billion dollars tonight. So you might as well call us and let us help you find that wonderful property that you want to find. But anyway, it is active, 25 million. Then there are 31, 31, 31 pendings. So 330,000 up to 11,850,000 pending. So the most expensive that pended was a house that was in Golden Oak, very nice home. That's under contract. And then 31 solds, 31 solds. That uh, was 320,000 uh, sold up to 2,050,000. That house was on the water in an area called Vizcaya. We love Vizcaya. We have some clients um, that live over there and they absolutely adore that area too. So when you think Dr. Phillips and you think Sand Lake Restaurant Row, you think behind Barnes and Noble, there's some gated communities back there. Vizcaya has access to the water. You know, it's nice when you go to Rocco's Tacos in Central Florida and you sit outside and you see that water area. That water area also backs up to a lovely home area called Vizcaya. And my team knows those areas extremely well. And I would say to you, the way I look at the market is 78 actives. And then if you total the other two, 62 that have done some movement. It tells me that maybe there's a little bit more inventory coming in. So maybe you're going to have a little bit of time in order putting an offer in, but it's not something where I'm seeing people really lower their price point that much uh, with the exception of a couple that may have overpriced themselves, but it's more about maybe going in with a contract where possibly now you can say subject to an appraisal or that you want, you know, a full 10 days to do the inspection or that you possibly want to get financing. And once again, we have mentioned our uh, lender that we're working with doing a really great, great program. I know it's always best if you can get a 30 year fix, but for those of you that are hesitating, the seven one arm amortized over 30 years, 
really is a great opportunity to not lose some footing. Most people say that they, um, actually, I think the national average is most people move every five years, if not seven years. And so we can, we can help you through that, but we'll look at numbers for you, help give recommendations and hoping that one of you out there is going to be the mega million lottery winner tonight, mega million lottery winner tonight, 1 million, 200 and no, one billion, billion with a B, one billion dollars. And uh, that would be a nice blessing. So if you feel up to it, put in the comments below what you might do with your money. Hopefully everybody's going to take care of your loved ones and your friends and family. But uh, otherwise, I'd be interested to see in the comments, what would you do if you won the billion dollars? All right. So next week, We've been getting a lot of requests. I guess I made the comment about going on the Disney wish. So we're going to maybe uh, flip it up a little bit. We're going to put our video together so that you can see the interior of the Disney wish. And um, my dream team is going to maybe be showing you some stats in regard to some of the towns that are around the 25 mile radius of Cinderella's castle. All right. Well, if anybody has any questions, otherwise, I think we are good. I think we're good. I'm double checking. Yes, congratulations, Georgia. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Make sure you go to near Disney YouTube, please. Check it out. Have a great day. Win that lottery. Bye-bye.